Hello ladies and gentlemen, Adrian here from the Disk Drill team. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the iOS data recovery feature within Disk Drill. Within Disk Drill 3.2 specifically, we introduce an all new iOS recovery module, making it easier than ever to get your data off of your iOS device, be it an iPhone, iPod, or iPad. It's as simple as plugging in your device here and the way the iOS recovery module works is if you hit recover here, it's gonna be based off of your previous iTunes backups. So if you've recovered uh, data in the past or you backed up your device in the past through iTunes, then you're allowed to go ahead and manually sort through those backups and get the files as needed. So you can see here, once I plugged in my device, it automatically detected my most recent backup here. It shows that it has one backup found on this computer. I can simply click on recover. It's gonna go ahead and reconstruct those files based off of the iTunes backup. And then I manually have the option now to recover data from that specific backup, which is very, very useful because let's say you just want a photo that used to be on your phone that accidentally got deleted or a video or a text message, or maybe you needed a contact that accidentally somehow got deleted. You can manually comb through all of that data with our new iOS recovery module. You'll see here under the all data tab, it tells you how much files Distro has found, in this case over 19,000. That's about 33 gigs of data found. You can see here, it also shows you how many other files are found outside of the main categories, such as contacts, calendars, bookmarks, notes, application photos, regular photos, videos, call history, and text messages. Keeping in mind on the left-hand pane here, you can easily jump to each of those categories. So for example, I can jump to photos, I can jump to videos, bookmarks, or text notes as needed. Really simple, really easy here. Now, if you want to select a whole category, so let's say you already know you want all the photos backed up, you simply just click on the little checkbox here, and then you've selected all of those photos to be recovered. Otherwise, you can go ahead and manually select the things that you want to recover. So for example, I want to go in here, I'll say I want to select this photo right here that I want to recover. Maybe I want, um, you know, the bookmarks and the text notes. I want all of those recovered. Now, when it comes to recovery, there's a couple ways you can do it. First off, you can recover to a specific location in the top right. So you can see I've defined my desktop as a folder I want to recover the files to. Or you can go in the bottom left here and mount the found items as a disk. What this does is it quite literally mounts it as a disk as if you plugged in uh, a USB drive or what have you. And this makes it really easy for you to go ahead and move files around as needed. So if I do that, you can see here it makes all of these backups here as a disk that I can easily comb through within each folder. So I can go into the bookmarks folder, take the HTML file out, and move it around as needed, whether that's locally to my computer or to another external hard drive. Otherwise, I can go ahead and choose to recover these 88 files to a specific folder, like I said. And again, keeping in mind, you can add files as needed here. You can even change the view to the thumbnail view or the list view to get all the data. You can even search manually if you know a specific file that you're looking for. Otherwise, you hit recover in the top right, and just like that, it was that easy to recover all of my files. You can see the success message here. I can go ahead and click on the show status here, and you can see this is where it exported the photo. And just like that, I was able to recover the files that easy and that simple with Distro. Again, it doesn't get any easier than that. Simply plug in your iOS device, have it back up if it hasn't run a backup already, or restore from previous backups, knowing that anytime you need your data recovered, it's that simple and easy with Distro. Thanks for watching.